हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज डॉक्टर सुब्रमण्यम गोर्ती आई एम फैकल्टी इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी तिरुपति ड्यूरिंग दिस सेमिस्टर आगस्ट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी आई विल बी आफरिंग ए कोर्स ऑन मेडिकल इमेजिंग एंड सिंस बिकॉज ऑफ दिस कोविड सिचुएशन लाइक एनी अदर कोर्स एट आई आई टी तिरुपति दिस ऑल्सो विल बी ऑफर्ड ऑनलाइन So this is the first online uh, video lecture on uh, medical imaging so in this video lecture we would explain you about uh, what can you expect from this course what is it that you would require as a background for this course okay and uh, how would be the evaluation what is the reference books that we use for this course what will be the content of this course this is what we would be discussing at our institute the number for this course is ee5029 title of this course is medical imaging okay although it tells imaging it has both uh, it talks about both the image processing primarily and also about various medical imaging modalities conventionally this is a three credit course which means per week 3 hours of lectures okay that's what it means by uh, three credit course right so let me now tell you what is it that you would require for doing this course what are the prerequisite for this course okay if you had done uh, digital signal processing course that's good enough uh, to follow this course okay so all of you here at our institute has it in the second year itself so in a way the third year students or final year students or masters or phd students can do this course okay and if you do not know digital signal processing as such if you are from a different background like computer science and haven't done this course still you could uh, follow this course to a large extent except where we would be discussing about the frequency domain analysis of images and also the pa portions where i would be talking about uh, image acquisition for magnetic resonance imaging so other than that you could follow the rest of the course you could otherwise also you could uh, learn it from various sources for example there is another video le lectures recorded video lectures for dsp are available as far as the frequency domain analysis is concerned you can go through it or in fact many other uh, um, sources are also available you can go through it and then you could understand those modules as well okay if you know a bit of image processing for example how do you load images how do you do simple operations on that the say plus for this course but that's not at all mandatory because we would be anyway uh, discussing from very basic level as far as the image processing is concerned uh, you could learn um, of course we won't be discussing how do you load the images in a uh, matlab or any other tool and how do you do it those things you could self learn it's not at all difficult so prayer experience is not at all required but if you have it that helps you then what about the programming part the course is uh, will also have considerable number of programming assignments let's say 4 to 6 it might have by the time we end the, complete the course so if you know a bit of uh, 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 programming basic level programming is good enough in matlab or python you could pick any of these two when you are working from home if you have matlab working in your laptop you could use that otherwise you could install python and do those things in python okay any of these two things are fine so if you know it already it's good otherwise it's a good opportunity to learn and do a bit of coding in any of those two languages then what could you expect from this course so first part and i would say the major part of this course would be medical image processing okay and uh, even if you are later point of time even if you are not working specifically on medical imaging it still this whatever we would be discussing here would be very much useful and uh, they serve as a basis for other courses also for example uh, in computer vision uh, also there are different tasks uh, these whatever we discuss here could be quite helpful to you or a conventional image processing course also those things would be uh, quite helpful so in other words we would be this is a first part or a major portion uh, of this uh, would be very generic and this you could treat it as if this is an image processing course itself except that we would be looking at its application to medical imaging so you could see the, the application would change even if you are working in a different domain but still this course could be useful to you in case if you are going to deal uh, with images so in this particularly we would be discussing about uh, 
enhancing these images in the spatial domain and then the second module would be mainly frequency domain analysis of images this is where we would be discussing about uh, in your conventional dsp course you would have studied uh, the 1d uh, frequency domain analysis we here we extend that to 2d uh, so 2d fourier transform starting from ctft dtft dft okay in addition to that extensions you would be doing some other important uh, uh, concepts in uh, frequency domain analysis for example central cross section theorem okay uh, then extension to convol of convolution theorem and sampling to 2d so these are the things we would discuss and then the another aspect that we would be discussing in this course is about segmentation uh, in particular we would be discussing about uh, yeah, at least three different classes of segmentation methods one is segmentation based on thresholding so here we would discuss about uh, various ways of how do you select the different methods to select the thresholding values okay like otsu thresholding cluster based thresholding or uh, yeah many other are there which we will see in due course of time and uh, another set of methods which are known as active contours this is something we would discuss and followed by that a little more advanced than active contours uh, are uh, another parallel um, set of methods for performing segmentation graph cut based segmentation method so that's what we would discuss this i put under the uh, heading of umbrella of medical image processing as i mentioned earlier even if you are doing a simple image processing still these all could be useful for you another uh, cluster of things that we would be discussing under this is medical imaging modalities and more particularly these modalities we would be discussing in the context of signal processing perspective okay uh, and more specifically we will discuss in 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 detail about magnetic resonance imaging which is also known as mri i am sure most of you would have heard this name at least okay so in that what is the physics of this and then uh, so there are various aspects that we would be discussing about and uh, in addition to mr we will also discuss about how you acquire how do you process how do you analyze uh, using different uh, imaging mod other imaging modalities less like x ray ct pet scan and so on and so forth 60 to 70% of the course contains the image processing aspects for medical imaging and 30 to 40% the remaining would be mainly focused towards medical imaging modalities so that would be the proportions uh, of these two parts okay uh, if you want me to put it into different modules so this is the first module is going on now course description followed by maybe couple of lectures introduction to medical imaging then maybe three four lectures on image enhancement in the spatial domain this is where we discuss about uh, uh, for example intensity based transformations histogram based transformations and so on and then we would uh, spend around 3 to 4 classes uh, on uh, frequency domain analysis of images okay the earlier one is spatial domain analysis then we would venture into segmentation so again i classified them into three things so active con thresholding based segmentation methods active contour based methods and graph cut based methods so roughly we might uh, spend uh, some eight classes or so on this okay five to eight classes then we uh, then i'd be going to magnetic resonance imaging and of course other modalities of imaging like x-ray ct maybe pet also we'll be discussing and maybe one last class would be on and uh, uh, now the trend being the machine learning and deep learning based approaches for medical imaging we will try to have a very uh, to, to, to get an overview of uh, how machine learning and deep learning are currently used what are the uh, challenges that are that the researchers are trying to uh, address here these are the things we would uh, look into uh, maybe one uh, one hour lecture there okay so overall it i might take around 30 video lecture hours so 30 hours of uh, video lectures is what would perhaps take to um, go through this contents of this uh, course okay now coming to what are the books that i would be following I would take it uh, in fact uh, from various sources there is not a single book that i would be following but uh, these are a very good reference books that you could go through one is medical amazing signals and systems so this is a book by uh, jerry prince and uh, jonathan m links 
So this book deals with uh, uh, the medical imaging from signal for signals and system perspective. So that's a very uh, nice book. And then particularly another book is, uh, as you could see there, um, Applied Medical Image Processing. So this is again uh, from a practical point of view, you will find this book very, um, very useful. So these are the two books. And then um, uh, as far as the MRA is concerned, I, I use the book Nishimura. Okay, this is Principles of Magnetic Resonance Imaging. So this is a book I would be following. And then uh, for the image processing part, by the way, um, you might already have, if you have done a bit of digital image processing, you might have already uh, be knowing about this book, Digital Image Processing by Gonzalez and Woods. So this is the book I would be following for some portions of medical image processing, okay? And um, this another book, uh, Fundamentals of Medical Imaging, the book the shown screenshot shown in the middle, okay, that is also a very nice book to have. So these are the roughly the books and some concepts I would be taking from different uh, various sources as and when we are going through it at the time I would give you the references for them. Then let's uh, look at how I would be uh, how this course would be graded. Uh, I plan to give at least four to six programming assignments. As I mentioned earlier, you could uh, do them either in MATLAB or in Python. Uh, for the sake of uh, convenience in evaluation, okay, uh, let's stick on to just these two. So you could either do it in Python or in MATLAB. And uh, they will be as and when we complete uh, a significant portion, we will then give you one programming assignment related to that and they will be evaluated. So this would, uh, these four to six assignments would constitute to 20% of weightage. Then uh, I would, uh, after we complete at least half of this syllabus, I would ask you to identify some papers. Of course, I would give you some pointers to look at. Okay. And then you need to uh, present a, one of the papers. Be, so those so resources I would tell you shortly where to look for. Uh, and your proper presentation would constitute to 15% of it is. And it is very likely you might have this time uh, one online midterm exam as well. And uh, it would constitute to 20% weight is. And final exam would be 45%. Okay. But as we go on, let's see, we might do some adjustments of 5 to 10% here and there. Uh, with again, um, uh, with the consent from the students, we'll be doing it. So this is roughly what more or less we would follow. Okay. And uh, you all know the Moodle page, uh, from which is there in our institute. So this material and all I would be, the videos, I would be posting them on the YouTube and uh, other relevant material like any textbook soft copies are available from our institute and so those things will be uploaded okay and your uh, you need to upload your uh, programming assignments also in the Moodle course space so make sure to register for this uh, course on Moodle okay and again if you want you can subscribe to the YouTube channel as well uh, given here uh, the, the one which you are right now looking uh, this video where we would be uploading the uh, contents of this uh, course in video form uh, from time to time okay so that's what um, the course grading and the material dissemination of the relevant material is concerned and another thing as I already mentioned that uh, uh, this would have a paper presentation and irrespective of paper presentation I would encourage you to go through the kind of work that is going on so the best resources for doing that in addition to the textbooks that I have mentioned there as the journals and conferences. So um, here is this is not an exhaustive or a comprehensive list. Nevertheless, these are uh, very good standard journals and conferences. For example, first one is called TMI, IEEE Transactions on Medical Imaging. Then Media, uh, uh, Medical Image Analysis Journal from Elsevier. And then Computer Vision and Image Understanding Journal from Elsevier. And then there are a lot of journals. In fact, the, as I mentioned, this is no uh, by no means an exhaustive list. But for example, computerized medical imaging and graphics, magnetic resonance imaging journal. And then if you go to each modality, you will find out a lot of very good journals. And uh, there are a bunch of good conferences also. For example, Medic Mika is a very well respected conference in this area. Um, medical image computing and computer assisted intervention. 
okay very prestigious conference and in case if you are going to work in uh, magnetic resonance imaging ismrm is a very good conference okay uh, then um, in biomedical imaging there is an in this uh, international symposium on biomedical imaging by IEEE that's also good um, yeah these are some of the uh, important journals and uh, conferences that uh, you, you are you, uh, our institute has subscription to almost all of these journals so uh, try to go through them once and just skim through what are the contents of it so that you would get a feel of what is the kind of work that's going on right now okay so that's all for now as far as the course description of this course is concerned uh, in the next video lecture I would be our next one and also the one after that as well I would be giving you uh, an introduction uh, to medical imaging or imaging as such and also different medical imaging modalities okay yeah that's all for now for this uh, introduction for this course description video and uh, see you uh, in the next video hmm? bye take care and if you have any questions comments concerns you could uh, post them here in the um, comment section okay thanks bye